Hi guys, this is Joey or Rowan. There we go. Um, an extra curly bouncy Joey today to make up for the straight hair yesterday. <laughs> this is natural and scrunched. Um, this is a little bit of a, a mixed video for me, and I debated whether to even make it. Um, but I decided in the end that I'm going to, and because there is a positive side to it as well as something unfortunate that happened to me this morning, um, I'm going to entitle this video Being Inspired versus Copying. And um, I had a really positive experience happen to me first this morning, which was somebody who was inspired by me. I won't say your name in case you don't want me to, but a lovely lady said to me on a comment um, that she'd been inspired by my blue moon incense and she'd made her own using some of the herbs that I had suggested and she'd shouted out my name on a video response to Thriving Vines giveaway where she showed what she did for the blue moon and you know she, she just thanked me and um, shouted out that you know she'd seen me making them blah 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 on uh, on on her video that she made and that to me is deeply moving I am truly honoured by that I make these videos and put them out in the world because I want to be part of a pagan witchy community and I have absolutely no problem with being inspired by other people in the community uh, I, I watch other people's videos and think about what other people have done and if I really like an idea I might say something to them and say oh that's a great idea I might have to try that and I always always acknowledge their idea I mean that that is something truly blessed about being part of the pagan community that brought a real smile to my face this morning. I hadn't actually seen her video before that point and she, she told me and I watched it and it was lovely as well. It was a really lovely video. Um, so I subscribed to her this morning. And then, then there was another not so pleasant experience whereby I noticed a video from a person who I won't mention who it is because I'm not doing that, I'm not getting into the finger pointing or any of the nonsense. I don't want any nonsense and it's already started which on my channels I've had to remove um, ratings on one video related to this. Um, this person showed candles which were basically almost exact repl replicas of the ones that I had shown at the Blue Moon SPAC for a different purpose. I'm not the first person to have done dripping candles, I'm not, um, but my candles have crystals on top, they have herbs on top, they are for statue-like purposes rather than being burnt, I mean you can burn them for that for the reason if you want to, but generally speaking I've always said, you know, I use them more like statues and, and bless them for that purpose. So this person showed the a whole view of all different things but they made a big deal about these candles uh, as if they were their own and didn't shout out didn't say they'd been inspired um, and this video was uh, not even a week after I released my uh, Blue Moon Esbat pillar candle um, this person had never released or shown candles looking anything like um, the ones that I had made before and I was in two minds to talk about it because do I mind people um, being inspired by my candles and making their own? No, I don't mind. Um, if you're going to make YouTube videos about it and you have been inspired by me, I would ask that you know you you can just say oh joey did this this she inspired me and i you know if i inspire you to make your own candles that is a deep blessing to me i don't mind that at all i'm not saying these are mine and you can't make them 
or that I have sole um, ownership or copyright? Uh, no. What I am purely saying is if you have taken inspiration from me or from anybody else, put a little note uh, and you make a YouTube video. Okay, if you make if you take inspiration from me and you're not making YouTube videos and you know that's something else. That's still a blessing. But if you're gonna don't go out there and, and make out that you made them and no one inspired you and because it hurt me. And I, I didn't really Part of me was like, do I make this video? Because I feel almost petty saying it. And I can't prove that they copied me. I mean, if that if you, people get nasty and I, you know, you can't prove it. No, all right, I can't. But when I released my Blue Moon SPAC candle, I had a lot of comments, a lot of views, a lot of people said, wow, I've never seen this like this before. And honestly, neither had I up until the point where I started creating them and it you know it's a deeply moving process when I make my ca candles I connect with the divine it has a lot of um, personal meaning for me it, it I said that in my video where I showed some more of my candle creations and this was another point this morning that people have started disliking my candle creation videos um, where I just showed off some and I have no idea why anybody would dislike it if other than to be unpleasant because these are my creations and on that video as well I showed a candle which was a um, made pole inspired candle and I said this wasn't entirely my idea this was my take on someone else's idea that I'd seen here and said where I'd seen it and said who I had um, been inspired by and said that I would never sell a candle like that made pole one that had been inspired partly partly by someone else because someone else's candle was just a candle with a maypole on whereas mine was mine with the crystals and the herbs and the imbuing and the drip and the maypole but I would never sell that candle because it has a lot of meaning to me first but also because I would never infringe on somebody else's idea which that one was and again I'm making this video because it hurt me it did, it hurt me because these are some, you know, it is such a blessing when people take inspiration from me, that makes me feel great and people are like, I really like this idea, I'm going to try it out. That that brings a smile to my face every time I get a comment like that, I think that's brilliant. And I f freely, freely admit that I will go and look on other people's videos for inspiration and if I really like an idea, I will always say this is really great, I'm going to try it, and if I then produce a video, I would then shout out, because it is not fair to steal somebody else's ideas, and not, you know, say, this person did this, and this is great, it, you're turning a really positive, beautiful thing, which is being inspired, and, and seeing somebody else's ideas, and thinking, how beautiful is that, I've got to try it, that's a beautiful, positive experience within the pagan community, into something not positive because then you're like oh yeah this is mine it, I don't I don't want to be petty I don't and I'm trying really really hard but it really really did hurt me when I saw that this morning you can probably tell I'm cracking up a little bit because <sighs> originally I was never going to show my candles on here I, I was a little bit worried about it um, and then I thought, no, this is a goddess, goddess given inspiration and a goddess given gift, and I will share it. And I have mentioned that if people really want them, I will sell them. And this is an, the last point I'm going to cover. Yes, I have said I will if people want um, the three candles that I showed that are available, or if they want me to make one for them specifically. I've said yes, I will sell them for a. Um, as reasonable price as I can make a slight profit off them and I ummed and ahed and, and about whether or not I should sell them and say that on YouTube because part of me felt like almost guilty for selling something that I've made um, but I thought no because for one reason and the one reason is that I decided well if I can sell any of these I can put them any money we make into the wedding um, and hand fasting pot for me and the gnome 
And that's the only reason I decided in the end to say, okay, I will sell some. Because originally I was never going to. And I'm going to say right now that, you know, if you are inspired um, to make your own versions of something, anything I've made, incenses, um, candles, anything I've shown or made, spell bottles, anything, you go and do that and I harbour no no ill will to anybody who takes inspiration from um, anything I do just because I'm going I'm to try and sell a couple of pillow candles. I harp, you know, if, if you want to do that, then that's a blessing to me and I think that's, that's a beautiful thing and that would truly honour me, but let me know tell me if you're going to make youtube videos um then say on them you know this is this person inspired me because you're creating community rather than breaking it down um if you're gonna try out an incense and even if you know i don't i feel petty on some level but the, the candle thing hurt the candle thing really did hurt me because they're my babies, you know. I, I go into circle. I put a lot of energy and effort and time and, and money and um, into making them. They're a part of me. They're, they are a part of me. So I'm just going to say please. Firstly, please stop um, causing hassle on the candle creation um, videos for whatever reason. I'm not they are my creations they're nothing to do with anything else um, secondly if you're going to create um, and be inspired by my videos and, and then make your own video please say send me a message um, put a little comment on your video say in your video Joey inspired me isn't this great and that to me is is you know, I can't ask for more than that, that's wonderful. But please don't um, make out that when you've never made candles like that before, um, like, you know, like I don't exist, like I never did it. That's hurtful. Um, so, again, just lastly, these are my reasons for believing this, because this person had never... Um, made any candle like that in the past. They had the crystals and the herbs and everything like mine. I know I'm not the only person in the world to ever have made drip candles, and I'm not going to say I am. But if you're going to take direct inspiration from me, please just, you know, tell the world that you did it rather than because otherwise you're lying about it. And I've said yesterday, I think that it hurts me more than anything else. I really don't like liars. So. I'm going to stop there because it really does upset me and taking inspiration from the community on YouTube um, witchy and it, that should be a, a blessing and I feel blessed when people do do it and let me know that they've done it and I have zero problem with people going and taking my ideas and, and making their own for their own personal use that's lovely but let me know so that's it for now um I don't think I'm going to make any other videos today because this is this has upset me a bit. So, blessings.